Hi grade 10, welcome to this video. We will be doing page 79. We are given the top view, the front view with two cutting planes, then, and this shape is a triangular pyramid. We are requested to draw the given front view with the cutting planes AA and BB, as well as the sectional top view and sectional left view. So I'm going to start my drawing. I'm just going to copy what is given in the question. So we hear by O, because you're drawing a sectional view, a sectional top view. You have to ensure that you draw in construction. So your top view is at 60 degrees. Then the height of your, or the length of your, sorry, the length of your triangle is 52, which is here. I'm just going to mark it here. Then I'm going to use 30 degrees to draw the inside the lines that make up the apex of your pyramid. Then we're going to have a straight line joining them there, like that. Then once you have that, going to label my, going to one, two, three actually here by O, then four in the middle. Then I'm going to project it up. Get my XY line about 10 millimeters away. Label it XY. Then, Start with the base of your front view. The height is given as 73. So you want to measure 73 in the middle. And all your points will be joined up the So the front view, you draw it exactly as it is given. Then you have your point one, then you have three, then you have two, then the at the top is your point four. So remember, all these lines are your edges that form the apex. And then once you're done, you can get your cutting plane AA. So cutting plane AA is 36 millimeters up. Then I will just have to draw it here. Ensure that I label it AA. And then my cutting plane BB passes through this point, but it goes 53 up. So the 53 is from the side. So you will just align those two points and then join them. So there is your BB. 
So according to the instructions, the instructions are saying we must draw the top view as a sectional view. So a sectional top view from cutting plane AA. So we use AA in order to, to draw the top view. So you're going to bring the point of the cutting plane, this point, this point, and this point. They are all going down. So we have line 2 and 4 being cut here. You're going to bring it down to 2 and 4. Then you will have a point there. Then line 1 and 4 being cut here. You do have, now you have two points. Lastly, you need to bring three. But in order to bring three, you must first take it in construction to line two, four. Once it is there, you bring it down. So basically, you're just bringing this point down. And then you're going to transfer that point to line four and three. You must show that little curve, but in construction like that. And then you will have your third point here. Once you have those three points, you can just outline them by joining. They. They. And this part is your AA section. Use your 45 degrees at square to hatch. Once you've hatched, you can now outline the remainder. That means this top part has been cut off. You're just left with this piece there. That's why you see that the base is still intact and we will outline it. So there is your sectional top view. From there, you're going to now draw your sectional left view. You measure 10 out. Then draw your XY line 2. So there, go out to 45. Then project your points to the 45, then up. So my three, my point four, which is my apex, and then my two and one are aligned. Take them up. Three. Four, two and one are on that line. Then I bring my base. So I have two and one here and I have my three. Then there at the top, I have four. So all of my points go to four. That means this line is not visible. That's why it's in construction. Oops. That means one and two are aligned perfectly at the back. And then we have this one here, three. So for this view, we use cutting plane BB. BB cuts two and four here, and two is in this line. So you're going to take it to that line. 
then you have a point for two on this line then it cuts three there line three and four it's cut there then lastly it cuts one here so here one we will stop there and then we will immediately join the points together to form a sectioned view. Then I will outline immediately what remains. Then that is your view. So you will hatch it in a different direction in the top view because they are not cut by the same cutting plane. So I'm going in the opposite direction. You can even see the size is not the same. So that is your left side of page 79. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. I'll see you on the next one.